when the lights are on my Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Ali Lyric and I am a junior here at the University of Alabama. And today I'm going to be showing you um, what I eat in a day. I'm gonna be filming a healthy what I eat in a day. And yeah, so the video you just saw was me taking my morning vitamins. I take a woman's multi one a day vitamin and a probiotic and prebiotic gummy vitamin. So I just had those and now I'm going to drink a cup of water and then I'm probably going to make some breakfast. So I'll show you guys what I'm having. Okay, so for today for breakfast, I'm going to be making some healthy oat pancakes. And how I do this is just I take half a cup of oats and plop it into my blender here. And then I take a spoonful of some flax seeds and also plop it in. And then I also do a spoon food, spoonful of chia and plop that in as well. Okay, so now I'm going to blend this up and yeah, I'll show you when it's done. Okay, so here is our little batter now good for you too. So now I'm just going to plop this into my little pink mixing bowl. Okay. And this is what it looks like. It's just blended up. Okay. And so now I'm going to add about I think a fourth a cup to a half a cup of milk. I'm using almond milk but you can use any milk of your choice. Let me see where that gets us. You don't want it to be too liquidy, but you don't want it to be too thick. So somewhere in the middle would be great. So I'm gonna use a bit more. Okay, that's about a fourth a cup. Now this is the consistency you want. It's droopy, okay? but it still has like some thickness to it. Okay, so now in the batter, I'm just going to be using a little bit, like just measure off your eye, but I'm just gonna do like a nice drop. And then I'm gonna mix that into the batter so that them themselves have a little bit of sweetness to it. And then, I think I'm gonna do today a mixture of blueberries and chocolate chip pancakes because I think my raspberries are not good anymore. I can't really tell. Raspberries go bad so fast and it's so sad. Like some of them look good and then some of them don't. Yeah, I'm not gonna use raspberries, <laughs> um, but I will use blueberries and chocolate chips. So. I'm just gonna add them into my batter now. So, so these are the blueberries I'm gonna use, just regular blueberries. And I'm gonna plop those in. I already washed these, so they're super good to go. I might as well just use the rest. There's not that many in here. Okay. And then I'm gonna do some chocolate chips. These are the dark chocolate semi-sweet morsels. So they do have a little bit of sugar in them, but you could totally get unsweetened if you feel like it. I think I just bought these because, I don't know, I was making baking or something, I don't know. I'm not gonna do that many, I just like. That's probably good, okay. Okay, so now I'll mix this and then I'll show you what it looks like. So this is what our batter looks like now. It just has the blueberries and chocolate chips in there. And now I'm going to um, get my frying pan and add some avocado oil. I'll show you what the avocado oil I use and then I'll just put these on there until they're golden brown. Okay, so this is the avocado oil spray that I use. It's from Trader Joe's and I think it works really well. But yeah, all-purpose high heat cooking oil. 
It literally just contains avocado oil in it. I'm literally almost out of this one, but I have another bottle, so that's good. So I'm spraying my pan with this right now. And then I'll wait till that heats up, and then I'll add my first little pancake, dude. I usually do like a spoonful at a time, and then just flatten it out with my spatula. So yeah, I'm just gonna clean up a little bit while I wait for that to heat up. So here is the final product of them cooked. This um, recipe made about um, six little pancakes. Like they come out pretty small, at least the way I cook them. Like this is the size of the spatula compared to them. Um, so yeah, so uh, they make about six tiny ones. And then I'm just gonna top this with a little drizzle of some pure maple syrup from Trader Joe's. Sometimes I'll do like a fruit compote instead with like strawberries and blueberries, microwave for about 30 seconds, and then it'll make like a little like fruit sauce. So you drizzle that on top, which is also really good. But since I already put blueberries like in, in them and like cook them, they're kind of already juicy. So I'm just going to use the maple syrup. And yeah. Okay, so there is my breakfast. I will see you guys the next time I eat something. <laughs> hey guys, so it's been a eventful morning. I had the Best Buy people come and mount my TV, which is great, and I've just been working on my research paper, but it is game day here at the University of Alabama. It's an away game today, so we're playing Tennessee and I'm going up to watch the game at my friend's apartment and she is getting wings and stuff for everyone but since I don't eat meat, I am a pescatarian, she got me some sushi. So I'm gonna have sushi for lunch and I'll show you some what it looks like uh, when I get there, so yeah. This is the sushi roll she got me, it was so so good and then the next clip is the chips that we had with some light sour cream dip that she made, it was very good. I just got back from my friend's house. We watched the game, which we lost, which is like our first loss this season, which kind of really sucked. But I'm kind of hungry now, so I'm gonna make some dinner. Um, I'm gonna, I'm thinking I'm gonna make a veggie burger. Like, yeah, so I will show you what I'm doing for that. So I'm just gonna spray a little fry pan with some more of this avocado oil that I love so much. And then I'm using these Beyond Burger Patties. I love them, they're so good. They um, have 20 grams of protein per serving which is great. They have 35% less saturated fat than a four ounce patty of regular ground beef. And as I said, I don't eat meat. So this is like awesome. I love these I'm so, so much. So I'm just gonna put this patty in the fry pan and get it defrosted and cooked because it's frozen right now. So yeah, and then I'm gonna use these burger buns. They are the Trader Joe's whole wheat hamburger buns. And then a piece of American, or what is this, cheddar American cheese? Um, and then I would usually put like avocado and lettuce and stuff like that, but I don't have any avocado at the moment or lettuce. I have to go to the grocery store like tomorrow because I'm like so out of, everything like vegetable wise right now um but i do have tomatoes so i might put some tomatoes on top and then i might do some corn on the side i love adding like corn on the cob 
It's like one of my favorite things. Okay, so I'll update you in a little bit. Okay, here is my dinner. I just have the Beyond Burger with the piece of cheese, the whole wheat burger buns, and then I just chopped up some tomatoes and drained them on a paper towel. So now I'm just gonna put those on, oops, on top. Um, and yeah, and then I'm gonna add in some ketchup and some mayonnaise. I really wish I had lettuce and avocado, but that's okay. So yeah. So here it is, the finished product. And I did just realize that I forgot to do my side of corn on the cob, but that's okay. I don't feel like waiting because I'm hungry. So I'm gonna eat this and then I will get back to you. So for dessert tonight, I'm just gonna have um, two little pieces of this Trader Joe's dark chocolate. Um, it is really good. It is chocolate from Colombia, which is pretty cool. Um, and yeah, two pieces of this is only like 35 calories, so that's pretty cool. Um, so I'm gonna have these two pieces and then I'm gonna have some of this peppermint tea. And I'm gonna put that into my mug that I just heated up water from. So yeah, I'm just gonna drink this and nibble on some of this chocolate and that'll be my entire day of eating. So that concludes everything I ate today. I hope you guys enjoyed watching what I eat in a day. And if you did, give it a like down below, it really helps. And if you, um, want to you can subscribe to my channel which will really help me a lot and yeah i will see you guys in the next video bye guys